Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming back to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So, um, yesterday I uploaded the video showing our PV inverter inverting and providing power to our battery inverter. Well, today I want to show you something. So, let's put a shade and let's hope you can see alarm. And then you're seeing it says uh, state error and then it gives you the error code so now this worked fine this morning um, state error F35 it worked fine this morning actually something else I also noticed is that the sun peaks over my uh, neighbor's roof and hits the inverter directly after three so we have to put a hood to minimize the amount of sunlight that we get here our Wi-Fi is connected as you can see, hold on, our Wi Fi. No, sorry. Our Wi Fi, hold on, let me get that. Yep. And you can see the lights. So now back to our F35 error. So, what could this possibly be? Uh, no DC. DC is off. Um, you could see um, total zero watts. Um, PV1 zero power, PV2 power zero, um, grid is showing zero and frequency zero and today we've done 2.8 kilowatt hours. DC no light, AC no light, normal no light, alarm light on. So what do you think happened? So let me go inside and explain exactly what happened. As you can tell I'm not upset. Um, Okay, I'm back. So if you recall, we're using the generator port to run our PV inverter. And the reason we're doing that is because it would do a frequency shift. And what the frequency shift is, when our batteries are full, the inverter, we will tell the inverter to stop sending energy by cutting the grid off. And when the batteries are at 95%, it will tell the inverter to start producing power, the PV inverter, and it would turn the grid back on again. So if you notice here, it says off at 100%, on at 95%. So let's see. My battery is at 100%. So, and as you can see here. So what's happened now, that F34 error we saw, let me show you what it says on the manual, and then you can understand. So. Um, some comments that came up was would the inverter stop charge would um, this inverter tell the PV inverter to stop charge once the batteries were full yes it does and how it does it is by making the grid go away and once the grid goes away um, the inverter no longer sees the grid and the inverter will stop to produce so here is our F35 F35 is no AC grid that's what it is so that error you saw on the PV inverter, no AC grid. This here, our five kilowatt hybrid, stopped forming the grid, and that made that inverter stop doing any, doing anything. So it wasn't producing. Um, everything went off, and then when I came back, so I'd gone out. When I came back, I saw that, and then I turned on the air fryer, the water pump, and additional air conditioner and that put our load at 4,000 and change. It started to discharge the battery and then it suddenly got cloudy and then the battery dropped at 95% and like magic, it turned on and the PV inverter started to show 2,200 watts into our batteries. It's amazing, so I'm going to go up, I'll show you what, how it looks on the app and then I'll close. So here is the Solarman app. My production power is 1,950 watts out of 5, five kilowatts. As you see, my micro inverter is showing 0 watts. Um, grid power, I don't have the grid, is 0. Consumption power, 1,930. Battery power, 9 watts because the battery is at 100%. We've done 13 kilowatt hours today. And I could see the micro inverter as a separate item. So um, you could see charging power right here charging power let me see if you could see that 
So, um, nothing here. What time is it here? It was 11. So, nothing happened because the batteries were at 100%. You see, the batteries were at 100% here. So, charging power was zero, right? And then I came back. I discharged the batteries. And charging power 1,200. And then here I discharged it even more. And charging power was 2,000 watts. You could see it. So that's when, and at that time the micro inverter was on. So you see, so if you look at it, it says production power 1,980, 1.98 kilowatts. That's what's coming from the panels. Consumption, consumption power 2,140, and charging power 2, 2 kilowatts. So that 2 kilowatts was coming from the PV inverter. And um, the PV inverter was co covering both the consumption and charging. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing that this work as how easily and how well it works. I'm pretty excited. So back to um, some questions or some comments people have made. Um, yes, it does a frequency shift. The Deye 5 kilowatt hybrid does tell it when it should start and when it should stop. And it does it seamlessly with no stress on either of the two inverters. I'm pretty psyched. Um, this has blown my mind at the ease at which we, we could get it done. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe icon. Don't forget to share this video with your friends or the channel itself with your friends. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, all of you that made comments, I appreciate you and I thank you. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Wait, there is more. You can see it says AC no utility fault alert code and that's the F message I told you earlier on. And then when you look down here, you could see um, it woke up at 6 a.m. when it woke up at about 6.38 and then you could see production slowly started to creep up. 16.17 and then it went off at about it went off at about 11 o'clock stayed off till I came on and put all those items on and then it peaked at 2097 and then just dropped again and as you can see the voltage but nothing